All right. Um, real quick, guys, again, and basically in this, if we want to show that what's going to make this um, continuous, then we know that the, since these are both continuous functions, A is any number, those are both lines, right? So as long as we, if we know that the left and right hand limits are equal, that means we know that they're connected because it's a piecewise function. Therefore, we can show that it is continuous. So all I really need to do is just say the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of g of x has to equal the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of g of x. Oh, I also didn't mention to you guys. Um, so you guys see how I'm going through all of these steps, right? So showing your work or showing these kind of statements is going to become very, very important throughout this year. So you might as well get used to it right now because this is going to be a part of the grading policy for me and for, um, and for me and for tests, okay? So writing mathematical statements, showing and proving your work is going to be required, okay? So it might be helpful just to kind of get used to things like this. So anyways, if we're evaluating the limit at 2 and negative for this one, then we'd have 2 times 2 plus 3 has to equal a times uh, 2 plus 1. And then we can simplify our work here. 4 plus 3, that's going to be 7 equals 2a plus 1. You don't have to show all of your mathematical work, but writing down any kind of mathematical statements. I'm getting 3. All right, good? OK. So when a is equal to 3, that is going to make this function continuous. OK? All right. So those are the easy ones. So 